All the problems in Ordon started with that ugly brew. It's time to end his life. Let's go. God, he is so ugly, by the way. That was my first time actually seeing the King of Balblins. That is King Balblins' face. And yeah, so he just stole our friend Colin. That is messed up. And he like tied him on a pole. Okay, so yeah. This is where things get real. So he started everything in Ordon. He, uh, you know, kidnapped. Ilya, he kidnapped uh, the kids. He did all of this, so uh, yeah, it's time to end it once and for all. It's time to take on King Bulblin. And it's really cool because this whole battle is on horseback, which is new because I believe this is the first Zelda game that actually has horseback combat. Um, I believe this was like this right here is uh, it's I don't know why, but it just reminds me of the first time this game was ever revealed. I believe this was like. Uh, one of uh, Twilight Princess's early stages in development it had this battle um, which is hilarious how it did have this battle but yeah so what you want to do is you want to inch up to uh, King Bulblin himself um, it's pretty straightforward once you get your sword around him I just need to make sure I'm close enough to him ah yeah there we go I love doing a spin attacks because they're way more efficient they're easy to hit Okay, I guess not. They're not that easy to hit. But there we go. So we got him. But yeah, this is so exciting because look at this. I mean, it's nerve-wracking. It feels like an actual, like, battle. You know, Link is going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Not really. He's going foot horse to horse. I don't really know, actually. Jeez, wow. That was kind of awkward there. Okay, he fell too. But yeah, he does slow down when you get too far ahead because, I mean, he wants the competition. Look at this guy. Look how cocky this fat dude is. <laughs> All right, can I actually target on you? There you go. All right, let's wait for it to recharge. All right, not bad. And now I'm just going to go ahead and end his life. There you go. Come on here. Come on. Don't be shy. Oh, there's more of them. Holy crap. There we go. Keep attacking. It's raining too. It's so epic. Okay, we did it. He's not dead yet. Somehow he's able to manage uh, himself and keep balance. But look, look, dude, Link is so mad. He's like, I'm not letting you get away with Colin, dude. You just, you're not. You're not going to. All right. So we were baited. Because this is all a trap, my friends. Oh, God. All right. So, yeah, we're locked in here. And all that's left is this duel. A 1v1 against the King of Bulblins himself. All right. <laughs> we're on a bridge. Holy crap. I'm nervous, man. I need to go pee. I'm not ready for this, dude. Can we, like, have a bathroom break really quick? All right. Oh, okay, I missed. Dang it. I totally forgot that I was supposed to be charging my sword much earlier. So, yeah, this is actually pretty easy. Because all you need to do is charge your sword, bait him to one side of the, the thing, and then go to the other side. And just like that, you can hit him. And it's so easy with the spin attack. I highly suggest only trying to land spin attacks because um, it's just, like I said, so much easier. I love doing the spin attacks on the horse. Oh, God. There we go. And we did it. Um, so, yeah. He did not have to touch us once. And now this scene here is so epic. So, I'm going to shut up. Yeah, <laughs> that was amazing, dude. <sighs> Anyways. Uh, 
Hi, Link. Oh, okay. He's waking up Colin. So, Link. Is everyone okay? Well, there's Tallow. He seems okay. And Beth. She's okay. Okay. Well, you did fine. What a hero, you know? Sacrificed his life for her. Good. Your teeth look really weird from this angle, but... Beth, I'm sorry, you know, for shoving you. Are you mad? Are you, you saved her life. Don't... Don't apologize. You're a hero, Colin. A hero. I... I think I finally understand. I understand what my dad meant when he said he told me I needed to be stronger, like you, Link. He wasn't talking about strength, like lifting stuff. He was talking about being brave. Link, you saved me, didn't you? Yeah, I did. You... You can do anything. <laughs> Aww. You can do something to help the Gorons in the mines too, can't you, Link? Well, that's the plan. Okay, is he dead? Colin, no! Kidding, he just passed out, cause you know, pretty crazy day. I mean, he was tied to a rope, fighting on a bridge, about to get knocked off. So yeah, he has had a crazy day ahead of him, or already has happened to him. So might as well uh, call it quits for the day. <laughs> I don't think I've had a day more crazy than that. So yeah, anyways, what's ahead of us though? What's in our day? Well, it's that, the mountain. God. All right, well, let's get started then. So, okay, so we're back in Kakariko Village. Um, before you head over to the mountain, there's a couple preparations I highly suggest doing. One, uh, and this is, I would say, the most important thing to do, is head over here. Yes, you're going to notice a sticker that has Mallow's adorable face on it. Yay, look at that. It does. Aw, you know what I'm gonna do to this little sticker? You know what I'm gonna do? Yeah, you like that Mallow hot sticker, Mallow? Yeah, what do you think? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna stop. But, um, yeah, so Mallow actually has his own shop, and he's selling his own swag, and I actually want to buy something. So, the Mallow Mart. Hey, what's up? Hey, you can look at stuff, but don't dare just take things. All right. That's my valuable merchandise. You want it? You pay for it. Wow, are you you really complaining of how you were born into a family with the water wheel and how you want a slingshot and now you're selling a Hylian shield limited supply? Bruh, give me this right now, I want it. So yeah, I highly suggest buying the Hylian shield cause um, you see how he sells and also how on the table right in front of us there's this wooden shield. If you look at it, it's it's similar to the shield we currently have on, but it's not the same. What we have is an Ordon shield. The Ordon shield is unique. It's a one-in-a-kind shield that you get from stealing it from Russell. Yeah, you're not you're not gonna get a shield that good back. Or was it Russell? I think it was Bo or I don't know Jaggle. Whatever. You you steal it from someone from Ordon, one of the elders. Um, if this does happen to burn on you. You can replace your wooden shield, but not with an Ordon shield. You have to buy the uh, the wooden shield, which its design isn't as cool because it doesn't have a stinking goat logo on it. So I don't know if you're just someone like me who doesn't want to ruin your you know shield that you get in the beginning of the game. Buy the Highland shield as soon as you can because yeah, don't risk getting your Ordon shield burnt. So that's why you don't want to scale. Death Mountain or even consider it with without a Hylian shield. It's pretty helpful. I mean it is expensive though, but um I mean if you were collecting all the chests I haven't happened to been to be collecting. Wow, I'm like slurring my words. I don't know why I do that all of the time. There's some days I it's like really off and everything I say sounds weird. But yeah, as I was saying, um if you have been collecting all the chests that I have been collecting, then you should have enough. And the shield looks nice in this game. I mean, it's by far the most colorful item you'll ever get. And the most colorful, like, thing on the screen currently. Um, and, oh, there we go. 50 more rupees. Not bad. But I'm actually here for something else. And that is this little bad boy. So, yeah. Here we got ourselves an ant. 
Uh, so here in the graveyard, which this is what it is, the Kakariko graveyard, if you couldn't tell by the tombstones, um, you can pick up the ant, and then we're going to go ahead and pick up the other gender, the other part of the ant, by, uh, by looking indoors here in Kakariko Village. So I want to do that quickly. Um, and then I think we're done. I think that's pretty much all... Uh, the preparations we need to do beforehand and actually let me go ahead inside of this house because I believe I can show off Something that might not be that useful and might be completely dumb, but I'm still gonna show it off so Deal with it and that is yeah. Hey look at that You can find the mailman again or the postman So I dropped a letter into the hot spring and now I can't read it Gotta blow this thing dry. Oh, you know what? I think the goat ate the last one and he was just he wasn't gonna give the goat a letter, he was just saying how he can't actually read it or something. Either way, he's a clumsy guy, so that's the whole point. And then here's Cullen, you know, dead asleep. <laughs> he's not dead, but he's asleep. We got Beth, uh, Renado, and his daughter, Jisha, chilling, watching after Cullen because uh, he did a lot today, so, you know, he needs his Betty by time. That, that did not make sense. You know, I, I mean, I guess it does. If, if you consider Betty by to be sleep, then he needs to, yeah, his sleep time, his nap time. Okay, um, <laughs> let's go ahead and, uh, is this the room? I think this is the room. I'm not honestly sure. It's, it's a random house. I don't know, because the, the game is mirrored, so, oh, yeah, this is it. Okay. The game is mirrored, so I'm just kind of unsure. But there it is. The other ant just chilling, so... There we go, we got ourselves uh, the second ant here in Kakariko, so now we are done and we can continue on. That gives us a total of six golden bugs uh, that we have collected so far. Um, and I think, yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and start heading over to that death mountain because, uh, yeah, I've been saying that a lot right now and I guess it's finally time. Dang, this looks awesome. But yeah, like I said, make sure you have your Highland Shield and you'll you'll be fine. It's pretty much all you need, your Highland Shield and obviously the Iron Boots, because now we're going to put the Iron Boots to the test and see if we can battle these Gorons. I mean, Bo said that this was the one and only secret that you needed to, to, to fight a Goron. Plus, we know the basics to sumo wrestling, so, I mean, I feel pretty confident. But here we go, then. So, yeah, you have to climb this. And let's get started. Man, I love how it's playing this music. This is all so nostalgic, and it's similar to Ocarina of Time in the sense of climbing a mountain, um, also called Death Mountain. I don't know why Gorons live on a mountain called Death Mountain. It doesn't seem as peaceful for them being such peaceful people, yet they live on death. I, uh, you know what? No, that does make sense. Also, I love Link's face. He's so mad. He's like, yeah, I just got, you just took out the trash. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but you know, actually, let me do that right now. <sighs> Time to take out the trash. Oh, yeah, and you dust off your hands. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I guess, I mean, here I am contradicting myself. Like, I feel, dude, honestly, I have a lot of conversations with myself. Like, I'll literally go back and forth with things I say because it's almost like uh, a sudden re realization as I'm saying it. Like, I'll say something really dumb or something I not didn't really get a chance to think about. Then I think about it, and then I kind of reply to myself after I've thought about it. Kind of like here. <laughs> I'm like, you know, why don't Gorons live in Death Mountain? But it also makes sense because this is Death Mountain. People, normal humans don't live on this, but Gorons can because it's, uh, you know, they can withstand the heat. So... That's kind of the reason, but um, I'm pretty sure here we're just gonna, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna ignore it. There's gonna be a bunch of archers, and it looks like you can do something here. Also, the howling stone where we uh, howled by, but I just want to ignore all the archers because I don't want to mess with these guys right now. And uh, you know, we'll look into it later on. But yeah, they are just kind of relaxing there, doing their own thing. They're not really relaxing. They're trying to kill you by chucking arrows at you, but it's okay. So. Any hill, just continue on going. And now we're back in Death Mountain. Ooh, boxes. Let's see what they have. Oh, okay. Well, I wanted to pick up the hearts in there, but I guess not. Huh. What is this? All right. Oh, it's getting dark. And look, there's a Goron. They noticed me. So, yeah, these guys are going to go. What's he doing? Okay. So, he's climbing up. He's not coming towards me. This one, at least, isn't. I guess they're going to go tell their big boss that they're getting 
Invaded by a human. I like how they stare at me too. I mean, I would be kind of intimidated seeing Gorons just like stare at you like that. Like, oh, who is this guy? Why is he intruding? But Link is here. Like, I, I come in peace. I come in pieces, please. Oh god. Okay, wait. No, no, no. Oh god. Okay, let's just avoid him. I, yeah, you can't. Yeah, you can't hit me. You can't hit me. You can't catch me. Oh god. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Wait. Oh, okay, I guess I can't actually avoid that one. <laughs> I think I spoke a little too soon. It got too cocky. That one did not want to move. No, this one actually was supposed to fall down for a reason. It's kind of like an event. So yeah, that looks dangerous. It is dangerous. But remember that there's a giant meteor that fell from the sky. And, uh... It will help you out soon. So yeah, you don't have to actually use your shield bash on these guys. Uh, just by taking out your shield, Link will automatically like deflect uh, their attack. So that can prove to be pretty useful. But there we go. Let's go ahead and take our iron boots. Uh, block this guy's attack. Hit him. And knock him back. And yeah, you just ride him. I mean, I'm pretty sure when we saw the Goron riding the other one, it was supposed to tell you, hey, you could actually do that, you know? You could, uh... You can knock Gorons down, and when they curl up into a ball, as soon as they come up, they'll uh, launch you somehow. I mean, it's a system that works on them, so it works on us as well, which is pretty decent. Also, I believe we need our iron boots for this, because uh, it will blow us back. Kind of upset that I'm doing this at night, and I am kind of upset that this game doesn't have uh, a way to manage time. Like, there is no Sun Song, like Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask had, or uh, Song of Passing, like Wind Waker. This game, if it's nighttime, you just wait it out. Which, I'm, I mean, I don't know. It's Yeah, I don't like it, honestly. I don't. I, I kind of like... Like, even in other games, not just Zelda games, you have, like, methods where you can... What? How did I not... Okay, whatever. There you go. They have methods to, like, uh, change the time because this isn't real life, so... Yeah, why not have the ability to do that? Especially when you want to do things at certain times of the day um holy crap wait a second what look at that background i'm sorry i'm like fighting this goron but i can't okay wait let me just quickly knock down this guy as well so hey buddy what the hell man oh come on give me a chance let's have a fair fight <laughs> okay there you go this guy kind of screwed up his set of attacks and made me attack him. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Alright, we made it to the top. They're not gonna bother stopping us. I just wanna go ahead and actually take a second and look at that. Whoa! Actually, let me stand on this. Alright, there we go. Let's not fall though. That looks so realistic. Like behind uh, this cliff right here. Here, let me see. The one on the bottom of the screen. Behind this one. Yeah, if you look over there, that looks like actual uh, canyons. I don't know why. What the hell?! This even looks worse up close. Holy crap. What is that supposed to be? Look at the lava. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm I don't know. I guess because it's an HD remake, I'm expecting too much. But yeah, go ahead and walk in here. And we're going to walk in with our iron boots. All uh, swag like, ready to fight. So, hey guys. How's it going? Uh oh. Okay, you know what? I think I'm a little outnumbered here. Enough! Okay, shorter. Goron's coming out. Is this young one such an important enemy that you must all gang up on him? I think not, little brothers. Who are you? And I'm walking normally with my iron boots. That's not normal. <laughs> I am a Goron elder, little human. I am called Gor Korod. Because of certain circumstances, I must lead the Goron tribe in place of Darbus, our tribal patriarch. Tell me, little human, do you come from the village below? You have done well to come this far. You are strong for a human. However, the mines beyond here are sacred to my tribe. Outsiders are not allowed unless... Unless what? Let me gain your respect like Bo. What do I gotta do? I mean, I'm, I'm wearing the boots that you do not know. <laughs> It'd be funny, like, yeah, why are those boots so big on you and why do they make so much noise? Ah, uh, you know, the latest fashion. But yeah, so I could make an exception, but you would have to beat me in a contest of power. Are you willing to try that, little human? Yes, I am. Bring it on. So, if you don't have the iron boots on, you will lose in a mi in literally a millisecond. He's just going to touch you and you're going to fly off because you're not heavy enough. These Gorons are heavy and strong people. I mean, they're not humans, so yeah. 
Uh, but, you know, Link, as long as he has these, oh, look at that, these iron boots, they actually look really cool. As long as you have them, you'll keep your ground and you'll be just as heavy, uh, you know, and actually have like a decent battle. So yeah, sadly we can't use our sword nor shield. Holy crap, he looks small compared to the Gorons, but he's huge compared to us. And the battle begins. So, um, oh god, he looks really creepy. So yeah, I don't know exactly how I want to go with fighting this guy. I feel like he's he moves a lot. And I kind of want to like do my own thing. Okay, I'm most likely going to lose. Like I said before in the last video, I really suck at this. Oh, and he picks you up and chucks you off. So yeah, um, I feel like it's really RNG. Like it's a hit or miss for me. Either I'm going to get it, you know, completely well done or I'm going to keep failing. So let's go ahead and I do not mean to retreat. But yeah, if you do fail... Um, you can easily put on your iron boots if you didn't have them on and then re-challenge him or if you fail with them on You can just constantly re-challenge him until you get what you want done So I'm gonna go and try again if not. Uh, yeah, we'll just have to see when I can actually do this. So, okay Perfect avoided his attack now. There's no way you're gonna move again like that. Come on duck duck uh, Duck duck come on try to hit me dude. No uh, Crap this is gonna be is it Okay, no, no, no. He, see, he's moving. He moves way too much. I don't know. He plays way different than Bo. That's the thing. So I got to hit him more often than uh, anything. If he's going to try to hit me, come on. Oh, God. See, we're not really making much progress, though, because we're kind of in the same uh, area here. Are you kidding me? I'm trying to duck his attack. I'm not trying to grab him. Because I'm pretty sure you can, like, have him. Oh, God. I forgot how uh, you actually have to click A. Oh, and I got knocked out. Okay. Uh, just no. I'm gonna click it really quickly this time because I don't even care. Uh, and just duck. No. Uh, it's ridiculous how he's actually able to avoid everything. Like I feel like I never know which attack he's going to do next. But now if I hit him, as long as he, uh, he had to avoid it. Okay. It is fine. Of course. Uh, why do I do the wrong attacks? I hate this crap. Okay, I'm just gonna keep doing that until- Yep, there we go, and... Uh, let me just hit him, don't- BAM! You're out. <sighs> Alright, so... Young warrior, you have a strong will and sharp eyes. Thanks. Fine traits. Want to see how well you can use them? Yes, I do. You see it. You've seen it. I would bet the mountain erupting without pause. When the mountain began to rage, all four of the elders and Darbus, our patriarch, went inside to investigate its anger. We have a treasure that we entrusted to us by the spirits. That was entrusted to us by the spirits, and we must protect it, you understand? But the moment Darbus reached out and touched the treasure, everything went wrong. He collapsed, and before our very eyes transformed into an unspeakable monster, he began to rage through the mines, trailing ruin behind him, and the eruption grew more frequent, more serve. We used all of our strength to seal him deep inside the mountain. It grieved us to do this to our patriarch, but we had no other course of action. I ask this favor of you, young warrior. Go to the aid of Darbus. Make no mistake, and the spirits have guided you here. I, Gorak and Goron, need your help. On behalf of my entire clan, I ask you for your aid. Hey. You too. Let the young warrior pass. Okay, thanks, man. I guess. The way has opened up to the next temple within the game, believe it or not. So, thank you all so much for watching this one. In the next one, we're going to be taking on the next temple within the game. I'll see you all then. <clears throat> yeah, cool, just like that.